Welcome back everybody. If you are anything like me, keeping your closet clean and organized can be quite the chore. If you are the same way, maybe we can learn something together this morning. Next to me, Andy Willis, who owns Good Life Organizing, is here to teach us how to clean and organize our closets. A very exciting morning, so good morning, good Andy. Good morning. Thank you for coming on. Before we get to this, I know it's going to be a little bit distracting. Um, I want to know kind of why. Why organize? Why keep things clean and in order in your life? Sure. Well, the main reason for getting organized is you want to be able to find what you need when you need it. Mm -hmm. And that just makes life a lot simpler for everybody. Okay. Now, th let's say somebody calls you mm -hmm. and they say, hey, I need some help organizing um, it's something in my house. We'll, we use the closet for the example today. What do you do? to get people organized? What are your steps? Okay, well I use a three-prong approach. We start with purging, getting rid of things you don't want, you don't need, you don't use. Mm -hmm. and keeping what you use and what you truly love. Okay. And then what's left, we sort, so putting like with like and placing it where you use it in your house. Okay. And then the final part, and this is a part that people don't like and don't <laughs> tend to do, is the planning. It's right. maintaining that. How are you going to keep your things where you put them when you do the fun organizing part. Okay, now for a closet, why why does it matter to organize a closet? Nobody's gonna see that. I mean, but the closet is where you start your day. It's where you get up and you get dressed, and if that's a bad experience, it sets a bad tone for the whole rest of the day. Okay. And there is what's called the 80-20 rule. Okay. We wear 20% of our clothing 80% of the time. It makes sense. So, you know, most of the things in your closet never go on your body right. after you buy them. That's especially true for me. Now right. let's let's refer to the 41 NBC men's wardrobe closet here that we have so fashionably put out. Uh, when you look at this, what do you mm -hmm. see? What are the problems? What are the good things? What, what do you do here? Well, um, one, I've already kind of organized it a little bit, so that looks okay <laughs> to me. Um, if this were a closet, what I would do is I would take everything out of the closet and go through that purging process. Okay. Um, say you decided this orange shirt just really wasn't your color, you liked it when you bought it, mm -hmm. out it goes. Out. Okay. So, and anything that's stained, ripped, um, doesn't fit anymore, just get rid um, of it. Just yeah. get rid of it. Yeah. Uh, donate it, gift it to other people. Mm -hmm. The other thing I su like to suggest to people, as you see here, we have all different types of hangers and visually it's very cluttered. Mm -hmm. So I always suggest using the same types of hangers. Yeah. Um, I like these, they're a, a slimline hanger that are sort of velvet. They're great for women because it, their silky tops don't fall off, oh, okay. yeah, but yeah. you can use the plastic tube hangers. Okay. But if they're all the same, it gives a regularity. Okay to everything. Now what's this thing on the end here? How this well we is one it? of the spots that people um, don't use very much in their closet is their Probably, vertical yeah. space. This is a shoe hanger. There's lots of really cute ones. This is one from Simply Stashed. And I've used it here to put in belts, scarves. You could put shoes or flip flops mm -hmm. or something like this. Put it on the back of your door. Yeah. Or it could hang in your closet depending on your space. Okay. Um, I also suggest people use hooks. Yeah because there is space and you know, put your robe there, put your workout clothes, whatever okay. um, works the best for you. And very quickly, mm -hmm. boxes? And boxes, labeled, they're good for small things, slips, bathing suits, and I always say keep a donate bag mm -hmm. or box. So yeah. as you purge, if something doesn't fit, Put it in the donut. Put it in the donut bag when it's full. Take it to your favorite charity. Okay, sounds good. Well, thank you for coming in this morning. Thank you. Uh, if you want to catch Andy or catch her again, she's going to be with us all this week. You're coming mm -hmm. back on Wednesday, and we're going to keep learning about organizing our lives. Uh, she's going to talk about picture organization Wednesday. And in the meantime, you can learn all about getting your life in order at goodlifeorganizing.net. We should have that up on the screen, but we don't right now. It's pretty easy to remember, though. Right. So thank you for coming in.